Shepherd Shearer and the rest. My real name is Phoebe Ann Moses. I was born August 13, 1860 in Dark Country, Ohio. My dad's name was Jacob and my mother's name, my name was Susan. Sadly, my father died when I was five and we became very poor after his death. Unfortunately, my mother had to send my sisters, brothers, and I to different houses because we were so poor. I hated living there, so when I was alone, and I ran home. While I was alone at my house, I took my father's gun that was hanging on the mantel, picked it up, and shot my first squirrel. As I got older, I became famous for shooting my gun, which led me into theater. I per performed many of my acts at Vaudeville Theater in St. Paul, Minnesota. That's when I met the famous Sioux Chief City Bull who later asked me to be his daughter and said I would be welcome as a princess. I got adopted and became a little sure shot. In 1887, I was very ill with blood poisoning, but insisted on being in the parade because the New York parade meant everything to me. On my sails to England, there was a terrible storm and the boat lost its propeller, which made us drift 250 miles off course. The storm was very fierce, and my husband and I knew we were in danger of losing our lives. Eventually, we safely docked in London. I won the golden medal from the Ladies' Riding Club of, Club of New York for my action-packed Wild West play and my spectacular stunts. With all this attention, I became really famous and needed a bigger, bigger stadium. So Thomas Edison's company installed the lights, and it costed $30,000. I spent 17 years making my audience amazed. Then startling news. I was being called a drug user. Someone had framed me for it framed me, and it took many years, court appearances, to clear my name. It took me until 1910 before everything was settled. Then I decided to do something dear to my heart, teach women to shoot. I went on my mission and taught over 15,000 women how to shoot for protection, and it's the best kind of tonic for the nerves and for the mind. I gave free shooting lessons for whoever wanted them. I believed in giving back, so I gave a lot of my monies, money to charities and hospitals. In 1926, my husband and I were badly injured in a car accident and never fully recovered. I later died with my beloved husband 18 days later. We were buried side by side in a peaceful Ohio cemetery in which was a couple of miles from where I was born.